All right, we have 22 photos here today. They've already been converted into HDR images. Uh, they were originally three shot brackets. Uh, if you need to learn how to do that, I have another video. Uh, it's titled Batch Processing HDR Photos, I believe. You can check that out. Uh, but these are all ready to go. I'm going to edit them in real time and explain the changes I make along the way. So let's start with the first outside photo. We're going to apply a preset. I'm going to uh, fix the verticals, bump up the exposure a little bit. You can just click with the mouse and then use the scrolling wheel on your mouse. That's a little trick. See, so watch that. I'm just playing with the wheel there. I can adjust the slider that way. And this is looking pretty good. I want to make sure that my lens corrections are applied and we're good. Now what I'm going to do is apply these settings to all of the exterior photos. So I'm going to highlight those. I have seven of them. Click sync. And um, yep, just review, make sure the uh, settings I want are being synced and then we can go to the next photo. Okay, I already have uh, the basic, um, just want to check. Yep, lens corrections are applied. So I already have the basic uh, settings applied. Um, this is a little bit off maybe. Okay. And um, yeah, that looks good. Next photo. Um, auto. Auto usually takes care of things uh, most of the time. I'm going to bring this down just a little bit. Sun is pretty intense here. Go to the next photo. The two main things I'm looking for uh, for outside photos is the verticals um, and the exposure. That's really the only two things I have my eyes trained to look for because my presets have taken care of most of it, uh, everything else. So just, just looking for verticals, just looking for exposure. And then I'm going to go to the next photo. Okay. All right. Let's see. All right. Bump up the exposure a little bit more. And this is something that maybe I'd bring in the adjustment brush and brush in some more exposure underneath this porch, but I'm just going to leave it there. Um, this looks good. Maybe bump it up just a little bit. Yeah, we'll leave it. Actually, we'll just go back down actually. 2 plus 30. All right, next photo. Okay, we got to make sure we click out of um, the, how we had those highlighted. So now we're on the inside. Okay, let's, I'm going to try this preset here. Upright uh, corrections. Make sure my lens corrections are applied here. Very good. All right, now I'm going to apply these settings across all of the interior photos here. So synchronize. Now I'm going to bump up the exposure on this one. That looks good. Let's try a different white balance. Hit W on the keyboard to get out the white balance selector tool. You can see a preview of what the white balance will be up in the left hand corner here. Um, you can click black things too. It doesn't have to be white. You're looking for white, black, or even if you can be sure that something is gray. Um, let me try this. Okay, that's fine. Bump up the exposure maybe a little bit more. Okay, next photo. Okay, let's get rid of this panel. Auto, bump up the exposure. And mess around a little bit with the white balance maybe. That's okay. Um, duh -duh. Okay, that's pretty good. Bump up. The cooler the photo is, the more exposure you can add. Okay, next photo here. Click those, uh, fix the verticals. Bump up the exposure. Uh, let me try. Um, let's go back to the last one. Okay. A little bit more exposure. That looks fine. Next photo. 
auto. Let's try a white balance. We'll try it right here. It's okay. A little bit cool, but all right. For kitchens, I'd rather it be a little bit cooler than most photos uh, so it looks nice and clean. Next photo. Auto. W for the white balance. Looking very cool there. This one uh, is probably okay, like this. Okay, that's looking good. All right, auto, auto, okay. Bump up the exposure. Yeah, that's looking fine. Maybe I would lower it to here and then brush in exposure manually with the adjustment brush over here because it's very bright over here. But we're not gonna do that today. We're just going to go on to the next photo. Auto. Bump up the exposure. It's looking all right. Let's try maybe a different white balance. Um, it's okay, yeah. Let's go on here. Again, verticals real quick. Um, I wasn't looking. No, I think I like it before. Let's try, mm, yeah, it's okay. Uh, bump up the exposure. Let's try a different white balance. Whoa, saw that coming. Um, okay. All right, let's try the white balance uh, right off the bat here. This is looking a little odd. Bump up the exposure. Okay, that's looking good. Auto. Sometimes it does weird things like that. Let's go back. Okay, that's good. Um, again, I can tell the white balance is pretty far off. Let's try this towel. Okay, that looks good. Exposure. Very good. Auto. Okay. Next photo. Um, auto. Exposure. Bump that up. Let's try a different white balance. This house has a lot of different colored rooms. This is a little bit more challenging than the average house as far as uh, getting a good white balance. Um, also, we have these. Um, they have uh, these fake plants. Maybe they're real. Probably fake. Uh, whenever you have fake plants or real plants, you get some weird color cast coming off of the reflection from the, the leaves. Um, W, let's try somewhere else. Um, oh, yeah, let's try that. Uh, electrical outlet there. No, um, dun, 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 dun. I think, yeah, this looks pretty good. Hard to tell because the room is such a weird color. Um, but yeah, that looks okay. I think it's just a really strong color, uh, this room. And we're going to come back to this photo. We're going to fix these windows. Okay. Let's try. Let's try here. Yeah, okay. Auto. Good. Exposure. Up. Make it nice and bright. Okay. This is a pretty uh, poorly lit room. I don't think there's any lights on. Um, uh, you know what I want to do here? So I want to hit R and I want to crop out that third wall. I usually like to just have two walls uh, in the photo. It makes the room look a little bit bigger. You're not focusing on where the second wall ends. Um, white balance, let's try. Yeah, again, this is a weird, every room in this uh, house seems to be a different color, so. Um, <laughs> sometimes a little hard to tell what is accurate, but, you know, accurate doesn't always matter, as long as it looks good, or it looks fine, you know. It's not really the homeowner that's going to be looking at these photos, it's going to be, a, you know, just a buyer, and they don't, they've never been to the house, so they don't know what exact color the room is supposed to be anyway. Um, okay, let's bump up the exposure here. Yeah, again, different color on the walls, but
but let's try. Yeah, it looks good. Okay, next photo. Um, yeah, that's good. I like to have the bathrooms a little bit cooler than most rooms. Um, makes it look a little, uh, make sure, makes it look uh, clean. If the bathroom is too warm, it can, um, it doesn't give you that clean feel like it does if it was a little bit cooler. Okay, so now we're cycling back through. So now we're done. That's it. That's, but uh, let's go back and fix these windows real quick. We only got a couple of them. So let's control, hold down control, and then draw. Whoops, something went crazy there. Hold down control, um, K, get out of the adjustment brush, uh, flow 100, feather zero. We're going to darken uh, this real quick, real quick. Bump up the temperature. Yeah, accurate white balance outside. We'll, uh, we'll bump up the saturation as well and a little bit of dehaze. Now we're going to erase where we went over. Flow 100, uh, click once, hold shift, click again, perfect straight line, click once, hold shift, click again, perfect straight line, click, hold shift, click again, perfect straight line. And for the fourth time here, and now for here, I think I'm going to use the auto mask. You can also just click A on the keyboard. And we will just go over uh, like that. Looks like we didn't do a perfect job, but you know, no one's going to be zooming in and looking really closely here. So that looks good. Um, yeah, I think I'll leave it just like that. Um, okay, we had a couple other windows maybe. Okay, we had this one. Yeah, this is the last one. Okay, same thing. Going to get out that adjustment brush. We'll first hold control, then drag a square. Uh, we can zoom in a little bit more, actually. Okay, K. Same settings. Let's just bump up. You never know what, uh, what adjustments you'll need as far as temperature until you start dropping the exposure a little bit, though. So... Um, this will be a little bit trickier because we have these dividers on the window. This will take a little bit more time, uh, but nothing too bad. Yeah, again, just this this photo doesn't need much. I think we don't need any de uh, any dehaze at all. Um, yeah, I like the temperature maybe a little bit more. Yeah, that's good. And then we're gonna go to erase. Um, okay. Dun, dun, dun. Hold shift. Click once, hold shift. Click once, hold shift. Oh, we could have gone up further. I think you can also hold shift and just draw. Um, let's see here how we're going to do this. Let's take care of the bottom first. Um, click once, hold shift, take care of that. Um, okay, let's take care of this real quick. And this shift uh, trick is good. You can hold down shift while you drag the brush, or you can also just click once, let it go then hold shift again, and then it will drag uh, the brush in between those two points where you clicked. So um, let's zoom in to 100. Yeah, perfect. Um, click once. Oh, we still have auto masking on. That can mess things up sometimes. Um, I only want that on when I want it on. Okay, just take care of this real quick. Um, yeah, not perfect there, but I bet you when we zoom out, it will look just fine. It's better to go a little bit wider than it is to not go uh, wide enough. Yeah, let's 
let's fix that up just a little bit. Okay. Yeah, see, I had auto masking on down here. That's why uh, it didn't do a perfect job. You can still see some of uh, the brush. Yeah, make sure you turn off auto masking unless you're you're wanting to use auto masking because uh, it's not a perfect um, it's not perfect in all cases. So click once. And let's dun dun dun. Very good. Okay. So we're doing this all in real time. Um, it's my opinion that I would rather not drag, flash, set up flashes at a house make sure my flashes are charged every time and bring every photo that I do into Photoshop to do window pulls. Um, I'd rather just do this adjustment brush technique here. Overall, it's simpler. And this is, I would say, a window that is a little bit harder than most. And so, oops, okay, we're gonna use auto masking here. Because we're on a curve, we can't draw a straight line. So let's see how good of a job it does. Yeah, pretty good, pretty good. Okay, that window looks good. Okay, we're gonna use auto masking again here. Pretty good, yeah. Nothing fancy, turn it off. And one last time, I think. Hold down shift. Okay, this whole window looks good. Yeah, I think I had auto masking on over here too. So let's, let's just hold shift and then, yep, perfect, okay. Look at that. Look at that, it's pretty good, pretty good. Maybe um, not so dark. Yeah, like that. That looks pretty good. Now, okay, so now I'm basically done uh, what I would maybe do, the other thing that I would do on these photos is, let me find one that I was kind of thinking about. Um, yeah, okay, this photo. Let's go to this photo. And, okay, we have the window here. There's no lights on coming from the ceiling. So this wall is very bright. This wall is kind of dark. I, the side of this bed is pretty bright. I kind of like to even this out. Let's get out the adjustment brush, turn the exposure all the way up, reset the temperature, flow down to six, feather all the way up, and then I'm just gonna very quickly try to balance out the exposure um, and brighten the areas of the room that are not getting that direct light through the window. I'm um, just gonna balance it out a little bit, just. Uh, with the flow way down and you're just, it's kind of a crude uh, way of doing things if you think about it, maybe if you think about it too hard, but the end result is good because the feathers all the way up and everything just blends together nicely because the flow is so low and you're typically going to need to bring down the exposure overall after you do that. And now we're looking at a much more uh, balanced exposure. If we turn off that brush, you can see the before and after. This is the after. I think it looks much more even uh, this way. Before, after. Okay. All right, that's it for today. I would like to let you know that I have an online course in the description below. You can find the link to that. Uh, it's a complete guide to real estate photography from shooting to editing, and I think you'll find a lot of nice tips and tricks there to speed up and simplify your workflow. It also includes the presets I use for every house that I shoot. So check it out and let me know what you think. Thanks.